Hi, welcome to another video from Dr. Lock. We're going to have a look at the F, e, sorry, FES 10 made by FSH. This is an electric strike which is dual power 24 and 12. So if you have an intercom or access control system and you're not sure which one's which, buy this particular model and then you can wire it up whichever way suits. Sorry about the light, you might be able to see it there. So 12 volt goes one way, 24 goes the other way. It also can be changed from power to lock to power to open by removing this and follow the instructions. If you have a 12 volt, you would hook up this particular part here. If you have 24, you would hook up this one here. It also comes with some mounts, some Allen keys, some, a couple of self tappers as well, so that you can fit it into aluminium or wood or whichever you prefer. So you've got the uh, four metal countersunk screws and the two large uh, self-drilling uh, wood threaded screws with the allen key. All of these screws, uh, sorry, those screws are driven by the allen key. These ones are driven by a standard P2 Phillips head. The actual striker plate itself, I'll give you some sizes on that. Sorry about the rule, it's a bit dirty. Uh, one, 124 width of uh, exactly 30. The depth in here is about 17 by about uh, 38. So it is okay for uh, mortise locks, handle locks, and locks like that. Show the depth here. This one here is about 20 mil, and it's about 80, 85 mil that way. Looking from here to here, you're looking about 43 millimeters from this side to this side. So you would need to cut out this shape here and also this way as well to be able to recess this in. Once you've cut that shape out, you would then need these tabs right here. Sometimes you do need to cut or modify these tabs to fit. You would um, install a screw hole at the top, screw this in until you had two, one at the top, one at the bottom. Then you could put your strike in there as well and attach it to it. Keep in mind that the metal on the door would be covering all of this. You would only see a screw hole and a screw hole. So it's fitted, uh, if, if you could imagine this was your door, it would be fitted like that. The screw would be going through there and this would come through over the top making a nice, nice fit there. Often uh, it takes a bit of time to carve it out, so do take your time on carving it out. They do provide a template there as well. You can use a router, a jigsaw, an angle grinder, stitch drill it, however you'd like to do it. All the information is on the template. As far as the uh, power to lock and power to unlock, that's also included in with the instructions. This comes in two different um, uh, Two different models. The first one is non-monitored, which means you don't know if the lock is in its position or not. Section, second option is monitored, where it has a little flap there, which you can hook up to an alarm system, a door open too long, alarm, or a standard alarm to let you know when the door's even been opened. So if you want one that needs to be monitored, make sure you order the one with the little monitoring button right there. That will take you through all the standard instructions, as you can see there. Okay, and this is the power to lock bit. It's telling you which way to put the small pin inside. You would remove it. Be very careful when removing it not to drop the springs or the part. Flip it around, put it back together, and that's how you do it. Instructions are included in with the box. Uh, we sell this product on our lock shop. We also sell a different model of this made by a different manufacturer. Both are quite good and both we install. For further information, please email. Available from our lock shop. Thanks for watching.